Good evening all, welcome to sports. I'm Ramiko Knowles. First up in sports, Kevin Miller along with High Country Promotions brings to you the 8th annual Bernie Russell Memorial Pool Tournament now on the way at the Grand Lucayan Ballroom. Players are competing for cash and prizes and as Jay Philippe tells it, these guys can shoot some pool. Day 2 of the Bernie Russell Memorial Tournament is off to a good start. The elite players are beginning to create separation from his competitors. Tournament coordinator Kevin Miller says that the tournament is running smooth so far and the next few days will be even more competitive. So far the, the event has uh, I think come off good uh, this year. This year is the, the largest uh, as far as competitors that we ever had and every year we've been growing and, and, and it's expected to be even bigger next year. Players came down from as far as Canada, the US, New Providence, Abaco and Long Island competing for the overall cap prize. Steve No from Florida talks about the competition. Competition is uh, I will tell you this, uh, the Bahamian people, the, uh, the guys that I know and, and the girls too that play, they put forth a lot of effort to get their game better and it shows because there is a lot of tough young players here and as I'm getting older I, I gotta use my wiseness to get by them but uh, there's no uh, shortage of good players here in the Bahamas. Marco Sanguiam, who came all the way down from Canada, has been traveling to the Bahamas for a number of years just to play in this particular tournament. He says that he enjoys playing in the Bahamas and also having a good time. We're back in the Bahamas. We've been here many, many years and uh, we restarted a charter this year and we came like 14 pe people to the tournament and it's like usual. It's great. It's a uh, nice temperature, uh, nice people. It's a lot of people that we know since all those years. We see them in Vegas and it's like, it's like in Vegas but a little bit smaller. It's very fun. The competition here is really picking up. In fact, the past two champions from last year and the year before has already been eliminated in singles competition, which means there'll be new room for a new champion. Report for ZNS Total Sports, I'm Jay Philippe. The latest results from primary school basketball in the girls' play. Bishop Michael Eldon defeated Martintown Primary 6-2. Tania Aline of Bishop Michael Eldon netted four points. Mary Star Catholic Academy outplayed West End Primary 8-1. Carlia Thompson of Mary Star Catholic Academy scored four points. Tabernacle lost to Walter Parker 12-7. Lewis Yard topped Maurice Moore 16-1. The Wayne Smith Softball Classic with Grand Key Senior Boys Softball Team began today at the YMCA playing field. The Senior Boys of Sunland Baptist Academy took the field first against Tabernacle Baptist and the big field saw Grand Key taking on St. George's. Play continues this coming Saturday at 2 p.m. at the YMCA playing field. Grand Key will take on Bishop Michael Eldon. That's your check on sports. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Romico Knowles. Until next time, enjoy your weekend.